Hey everybody, Joe Lawrence of Business Credit Workshop. And in this video, I wanna share with you how to find the best business credit cards. Stay tuned. All right, so nowadays with everything that's going on in the market, it's definitely easier to find business credit cards than it is business lines of credit. Doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to find banks that are offering business lines of credit and no doc unsecured lines of credit. It just means that there is so much more money out there that's being lent as business credit cards than lines of credit. Because with credit cards, most of them are no doc. So majority of banks, they don't do a lot of due diligence on your business or on you when you're trying to apply for a business credit card. So in a post pandemic world, when you're trying to get business financing, yeah, you can still go after business lines of credit, but they're probably gonna ask you a lot more questions. So if you want something that's a little bit quicker, a lot of easier, you're going to wanna to pursue getting business credit cards. So I really broke this down into just two simple steps. The first process is you need to build up your business credit score. You wanna build up your business credit profile in such a way that banks are willing to lend to you. Now I have a video here that you can watch that's gonna talk all about the steps that you need to take, but really what it comes down to is building up that business credit profile. And one of the services I really highly recommend, I'll put a link of it in the uh, description of this video, is a company called NAV. It's NAV. NAV is a company that tracks and monitors business credit profiles. And if you get an account with them, it's gonna allow you to boost up your business credit score. If you get the top tier program, uh, it's called Business Loan Builder. It's about $49 per month. You wanna get that package. It's gonna allow you to boost up your business credit score, but it's also gonna allow you to verify and look at and track and monitor your business credit score. So it does two things. After you build up your business credit profile and after you've built up your business credit score in such a way that banks are willing to lend to you, you wanna know where do you get the money? Where do you go find the money? And the way that I found this is actually quite by accident. Years ago, my dad bought a house in Ocean City, New Jersey. And when he went to get the loan for that property, he didn't go to some big national bank or some big well-known broker. He found a local community bank right there in Ocean City, right in that area where he was buying property. And he walked in and he talked to the lending committee. He talked with them and when, when he left that appointment, it was about an hour long, he had an offer to go purchase the property. He had the money lined up for the deal. And yet what I found so interesting about this is that the bank was more interested in the idea of what the money was going to be used for and less interested in the actual borrower. It doesn't mean that he wasn't qualified to get the loan. He still had to go through underwriting. But I was really impressed with the fact that he was able to meet with the decision makers on the lending committee in person. So when I go to you know, acquire business credit cards and acquire business lines of credit, I always think of that story of instead of going with a national huge uh, bank, which by the way, I'll, I'll name drop for you now, Citi presently is doing pretty well with lending, uh, that's CITI. Chase is really good, uh, Amex is good and all that. But, after you've, you've explored the national banks, where are you gonna find, um, if, you, if you look at the stack of business credit cards I have, you know, they're, each of them like five inches thick, right? So how did I find all these banks that offer their own business credit cards? I work with local community banks and credit unions. And one of the lists that I work off of, in addition to just driving around and finding the names of local community banks and credit unions and writing it down and calling them later, but one of the lists that I use is, it's called the top SBA lender list. You can go online, and you could do this in your own state and you and you look up just google top sba lender list or top sba lenders and then put in your state okay make sure it's on the sba.gov website it'll bring you there you'll look at it you download the spreadsheet what's really cool is every single year the sba just about ranks the top lending banks in your state now in my state new jersey they do it every year it's awesome so i go on there and i can see who are the top lending banks it's not that i want an sba loan it's just that the Small Business Administration is ranking the top lending banks in my state. That's where I start. A lot of those banks that you'll find on that list, you may have never even heard of. And that's the whole point. You want these local community banks. You want these small credit unions. You want these banks you may have never even heard of because you can actually build a long-term relationship, network with the decision makers that are deciding whether or not they're going to approve your business credit card. And you can't do that if you're just doing an online application. So it requires a little bit more groundwork. But by doing this, if you were to call 100 or 200 banks, you'll find, and I want you to jot this down, you'll find about 20% of banks, 25% of banks that you call, offer their own business credit card. 
What that means, guys, is that they don't necessarily offer the business credit card through a third party, like Alon Financial, but it's their own card. They do in-house underwriting. They make their own decisions. Once you find those banks that offer their own business credit cards, you found gold because you could apply and apply and apply and mass up a lot of unsecured, no-doc business lines of credit, business credit cards, and you wouldn't be able to do that if you were working with just a couple of different national banks. Now, as a special bonus tip, what you could do is after you've exhausted your own list, let's say you actually call all the banks, credit unions, and whatnot in your state, you find out what programs they offer, what type of business credit cards they offer, go beyond just your state, go to neighboring states. If you're in one state, call all the banks on the list in neighboring states. In many times, often cases, they'll lend to neighboring states. So a bank in New Jersey might lend to a business in, New Jer in uh, Florida, or a bank in Florida might lend to a business in Pennsylvania. In fact, some of the banks will lend nationally, and you would never even have heard of these banks unless you do some of this extra research. I hope you see value in that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. As usual, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you want to watch a case study of how I've helped students ob obtain $250,000 in business credit cards in just 30 days, go to bccmastery.com. That's bccmastery.com. Till then, I'll see you guys next time.